6CD minus 2CE minus 3BD plus BE. Factorize the question. Now, yeah, is it okay if I apply easy factorize here? Like what you thought in the first video. Okay, and you can do that. Okay, so I take the 2 out. Okay, then I take the C out because teachers say 6 and 2 can be divided by 2. So I take it out. Then C and C repeats. Ma. So I take it out. So what I left inside is I left 3. I left D. I left minus E close. And then teacher, can I apply easy factorize one more time over here? You try one. Okay, I try. La. So uh, teacher, B repeats. Oh. So I take the B out. Ah. Then 3D plus E. Hi guys, I'm Liang Jim, Mathematics here again. Now, let me show you. The previous video, we talked about this factorization and of course, factorization, I did mention that the benefit of it will be converting a plus minus back to times divide so that we can simplify them just like this, you see? From a plus minus, you convert into bracket, which is a times relationship, lah, okay? And then you cut it off, you get your final answer. Uh, so that's the purpose of factorize. But of course, some of the question they might ask you to factorize it only, uh, then you will just apply factorization. Lah. But of course, the final purpose, uh, the main reason is to achieve this kind of cutting cutting methods okay now let's go into the second part okay i'm not writing it over here i put it in another paper okay so the first version we talked about easy right the next version of it next version of factorization the the second skill uh, we talk about the second method called the moderate factorization okay so let me write skill number two we name it as the moderate version but of course the, all these names over here is it a proper name uh, that you made in the textbook of course, no. Lah, okay, so these are methods where I separate it for you and then I'll say easily recognize them. Okay, so what's so special about moderate? How we recognize it? Okay, let me show you again. For easy version of factorization, right? We check the number and see whether you can divide with a certain number or not. Let's say there is three terms. For this case, you have two terms, right? Let's say there's three terms. You have to make sure three terms can be divided by the same number. Ah, it can be, I'll say, multiple numbers like you see. 8 and 60, you can divide by 2, you can be divided by 4, 8, uh, factorize will be choose the biggest. Lah. This thing you see, 15 and 27, you can divide by 3. Lah. Okay, so th this is like 2 terms only. If I give you 3 terms, make sure 3. Lah. And after that, unknowns that repeat, take it out. So that will be easy how you recognize it. One more thing, anyhow, check easy for every single factorization related question. That's the utmost, most important rule. Always check the easy one first. Okay, so take it aside, back to the moderate. So how we recognize moderate is where, when you look at a question, there is how many terms? There is a total of four terms then, quite, how say, quite, you can say like 100%, that would be like, it involved like moderate factorization already and for our syllabus, okay? Now, so let's say my question is 6CD minus 2CE minus 3BD plus B. E. Okay, this question here. So do you notice there's four terms here? It's like one, two, three, four, right? Four terms. Okay, the given four terms here, right? The first thing I want to share with you is we have to check what first? Easy factorize first. Numbers and unknowns. Okay, let's check. Six, two, three, and nothing, which is one. Lah, okay, can you divide all these number with one number? Okay, the answer is no. Except for number one now, we are, talk, we are not talking about how to factorize one now, no point doing that. So, six, two, and three only. Uh, if let's say you talk about these three possible, no. If you talk about these two possible or not, ah, uh, yes, these two you can, uh, you can factorize the two out, right? But we are talking about four terms. Four terms, don't have. Okay, next, check the, check the unknowns. Uh, C, D, C, E, B, D, and B, E. Is there any repeat unknowns over the four given terms? No. Skip your easy. Okay, so that's why you see we always check first. If that's possible, we have to do easy first. That that will be the utmost, most important rule. Okay, now how we apply this? There is some common mistake that uh, students might make. Okay, so let me explain how the whole process works. Look at the proper steps on how you handle. Okay, and of course this is technique, the answering technique. In a while, I will explain why is it like this. Why is it like this? There's a reason. Of course, you have to say. I have to say it again. Because factorization comes from what? It's actually a reverse of your expand answer, right? So most of the explanation comes from expand. Uh, so how, why we do that technique is because of the expand, okay? We are doing a reverse of it. In a while, I'll explain why. Okay, now, the technique start this way, number one. As you see four terms, you go for moderate. 
And the first thing you do is to cut them half. You see, there is two terms here, two terms here. And when you look at these two terms, right, the first thing, can you tell me 6 and 2? Is it possible for us to apply easy factorizer? Of course. So number one, step one, uh, apply easy factorize. 6 and 2, you can take the 2 out. You put a big bracket. And number-wise, you get a 3 minus 1. Right, right? Of course, uh, I'll just put a 1 temporary. Lah, okay, so maybe we, we, we might want to take the 1 away because I say that if I say there's an unknown, you don't write 1 uh, C, 1 K, you just write that particular unknown like A only, K only. Okay, so number-wise done ready. Okay, so now let's look at CD and CE. Huh? CD and CE, the one that repeats is your C. So you take the C out and you left D and E. So do you put the 1? No. Okay, don't put a 1. Huh? Okay, so why not I just write it one more time. 2C, 3D minus E. Remember, don't put a 1. So this one, I cancel it. Very good. Okay, now, so do you notice I apply my easy factorize? And quite a big number of students will say, Hey, I noticed something. Why not I apply easy factorize over here as well? Yes, you are right. But the problem is, the common mistake that student did is, can you see 3D minus E? So student tends to put like bracket 3D plus E. That's a big mistake. Okay, because suppose uh, this particular bracket over here, it should be the same as the other side. So rather than saying you do easy factorization over here again to increase your error, I will change the explanation into step two. You copy and paste. You copy and paste. Remember that these two brackets must be the same. Why? Why must be the same? There's a reason, uh, reason at the side in a while. Okay, now, step three. Go to the one above and apply your step three to match and see whether you get the same answer or not. Okay, see, look at how I handle the whole process. Okay, technique go this way. I have to make sure student goes to the correct, correct track and then I explain why. Okay, so we don't blindly follow a particular method and we don't understand it. Okay, so the explanation in a while, we'll talk about it. Okay, now, copy and paste, it must be 100% equal. Okay, now you match. Okay, let me ask you, based on number, let's don't talk about unknown first, huh? just number. Can you tell me which number you have to place over here so that you get 3 and 1? Sorry, 3 and 1. The answer is, you, don't, you just put 1, huh? but the problem is putting 1 is like nothing, right? So we try and see whether there is an unknown that we missed out or not so that we can get the same B, 3 B, D and B, E. Huh? Okay, so number-wise is a 1, so just don't care. And unknown-wise, can you see there is a B which is missing already? So I put a B and test again. Okay, B and 3 D, eh? you get a 3 B, D. B and E, it's a B, E. Yes, you're right. So anyhow, you have to put a symbol. Any, I mean, it's in plus and minus symbol, lah, okay? So what symbol you have to put it over here so that it becomes negative 3BD and plus BE? You have to place a negative. Okay, we test out and see whether it's correct or not. BD times 3D. Yes, it's correct. Uh, minus B times minus E is a plus BE. Fantastic. All, all the given terms over here to multiply everything is like match perfectly. Okay, very good. So now, working's done ready. So we come up with the final answer. So the final answer is the copied version, the copy paid version, right? Paste version, you put 3D minus E just one time over here. And after that, the first bracket, what you do, you will take your 2C and your minus B and put it over here. And that will be your final answer. And now it starts the confusion where students ask why there is two bracket, but eventually I write one. And why this 2C minus B, I have to put it over here and make it the first bracket. Why? 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 Students have been asking the same thing. Okay? The reason starts now. The reason, reason. That's why you see, to understand the maths is not about spamming. Yes, we have to spam a lot of questions to improve algebraic expression, but we need to understand how it works, okay? So the understanding part goes this way. Let me give you a quick example on how we handle expand version of our algebraic expression, okay? Which is this part, okay? Now this part where I put it in the second video if I'm not mistaken. Okay, now. So let's give you an expand version of question to explain why is the process like this. The expand version of which is the slightly more advanced question, right? On the second video, I remember I say something like, let's say a uh, 5a minus 2 and, uh, and uh, let's say 
2a minus 3 for example and then I just make it plus okay different thing okay so in order to expand this I remember I said something like it's either your teacher will draw arrows okay arrows or maybe just like what I did I cover up this thing and I will read the answer out and I'll cover up this thing and read the answer out right okay so that would be the usual way but what happened to like long long time ago or maybe some teacher if let's say they really do explain in detail on every single algebraic how it works right teacher will say this thing on okay why not i just draw the the the, the usual school teacher's way lah. okay school teacher will say oh why not we drew we, we draw like arrows to make the process easier which is true okay this is actually one of the shortcut do you notice it's 5a multiply 2a and minus 3 and you have to take your plus 2 multiply 2a and minus 3 again so in order to write it very very detailed we can write it as 5a multiply with 2a minus 3 right and look at the plus 2 here okay this one is this one right okay look at the plus 2 over here we do we put a plus 2 and we multiply with 2a and minus 3 again can you see that and now it explains the whole thing you see it explains the whole thing okay so the mystery okay the mystery gets solved okay the mystery gets solved okay now your 5a plus 2 which is the first two thing over here it, it, it comes from the original first bracket and do you notice your 2a minus 3 okay over here is actually the two brackets over here which is your second bracket that's the reason okay that's the reason why okay why we have to do that way okay now so now what happened is we have to go into the next part of the video where it talks about the hard version of factorize but uh, stating easy you see stating easy stating moderate stating as the third one which is the hard one is not about difficulty okay it's about different different factorize technique so we use this way to familiarize with the questions okay just a quick one how you recognize four terms okay so if you like my video share subscribe and you tag around okay share with your friends of course and enjoy the video and stay tuned for the next video where it talks about the hard way of factorization ciao m y s t e r y mystery come on now